everyone welcome back to another video it's Friday the 23rd of December 2022 and today is the 15th anniversary of the Mandra line opening three days ago we had the 30th anniversary of the Junalov line opening and now we have the 15th anniversary of the Mandra line opening and I know this happens every year the two lines have their birthday three days apart but this year is very significant because they're both very round numbers 30 and 15 so we just saw the oldest B-series set in service well the oldest one ever made set 49 leaving for Mandra and here's set 105 for Perth Today I chose to come to Bull Creek Station because first of all it's closer to the city and I don't want to travel far away for this 5 minute or 10 minute video like I did at June Love the other day. And second of all, Bull Creek is a station which I did at the very start of the train station series so it wasn't very well done. And it was done at night so here's some bonus clips of trains and buses here like two years on. Set 105 and 94 departing for Perth. There they go. So if you want to hear about Bull Creek Station and what, like, the history, just look at the original video even though it's pretty bad. But now we're just gonna walk through here and just think about the fact that this station along with all other stations in the Mandra line, except Auburn Grove and the city underground stations, opened 15 years ago exactly. The underground city stations only opened two months before anyway, but not 15 years ago. And soon we're gonna have Lakelands open over 15 years on. The only station not 15 years old is Auburn Grove, of course, which opened in 2000 and what 17 was it? I can't even remember. Anyway, let's head up the lift and we can go to the outside of the station where we can see a few buses. Does this lift not work? What? What? Look. Oh, there we go. I don't know why I was so broken. Here we are out in the 15 year old bus interchange. You can see the PSP and freeway down there. The station from the side, 15 years old. I really didn't showcase enough of this station originally. There's so much stuff you didn't see in the original video. Including this amazing drop off area here which is right next to the bus interchange. So there's this entire like road specifically for pickups and drop off short term parking here. And then you can drive all the way up here and drop off right here, right next to the buses like this. So that's very useful. And then we got that big cell tower over here, one of the original cell towers of the series when I started talking about it. Oh look, they're bringing stand zero back for for the 919 on the Mandra line shutdown. But it's only available for a few days, not on the 27th, 1st or 2nd. Because it, they've scaled down the replacement services this year. They're not as significant. There's not like express services all day, every day, like there was last year. That really was a bit of an exaggeration, I think, of the amount of services they needed. So many buses were being used just for those replacements. Anyway, 
We're just gonna look around a bit and see if we can see any other cool trains. I see here's another bus. And a train just stopped down at the station as well. So set 71 on the rear, but I didn't see the front. I wonder if there's a plaque at this station, so I can end the video at the plaque like I did last time. That'd be nice. There's a lot of variety of buses here as well. You got future buses, gas buses, Optimus buses, new B8 articulated buses, lots of different types. I'm gonna try to find a plaque. So here on the eastern side of the station, very similar to Murdoch, where there's actually a whole bike shelter down here as well, and then this little ramp up here, which leads to a big footbridge actually. I've never even seen this. <laughs> this has basically become a Bull Creek update video. Well, not update, but just improvement because of the original bad video. Yeah, so this is just the footbridge used to cross the freeway on-ramp down there and get to the other side. Anyway, we should definitely get a good view of the station from this side as well. Don't really know the point of these videos in <laughs> two in a row, but it's just, it's just recognizing the age and milestone of the station. You can see it through the trees there. Still can't find the park. I, I don't think there is one actually. Another train from both sides actually pulling into the station right now. Down there we got set 61 and 120 doing the Mandra service and then there's a Perth one coming in as well. Can't see the set number. It's 80 at the front. see the rear at the moment but yeah I'm gonna just watch these trains come through is 113 on that Perthon train. Just coming down the staircase here from both sides. Another reason I don't have to redo this station is because it's like exactly the same as Murdoch. So for the full walkthrough of the inside of the station it's the same as Murdoch anyway. The outside's a bit different with the car park and the uh, footbridge as I showed you. Okay, we're just gonna watch one more train come through here. And then I'll end the video. Set 72. And 62, 15 years on, leaving the station. So th 
this here is actually the closest thing I found to a plaque. It's actually about the artwork. But it's still for 2007, the original opening date. So if anyone knows the location of an actual plaque commemorating the station, please tell me in the comments. I've looked everywhere and can't find it. Maybe there isn't one. But I know it is at all the junior love stations that open. So we'll just end the video with this artwork clock instead from 2007. Thank you for watching. Oh, the announcements. Just a commemoration and acknowledgement that the line is now as old as it is. And I'm just going to talk over the announcement because I don't care anymore. So that's the end of this video. And now all these main Mandarin stations are 15 years old. Very cool.